All right, we're on to the second world, trying to get to bridges under 40% stress and under budget. Roundabout. Oh yeah, the dangly road level. Forgot about that. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. We have $30,000, and we only need, the only hard part is going to be this one hydraulic bridge tier. Yeah, this is going to be the only tricky part. I think wood X's is the move here. And then here, I'll just do the steel thing. All right, so I got to find the right spot for this to pull down. Maybe here? All right, let's just run it. 22% stress. All right, that doesn't go over. All right, so the biggest thing is whether or not the hydraulic's gonna click. If it clicks, we've got a success. If not, we might see some high stress. Oh, wait, that lines up so well. Wow, I do not remember this level being so easy. That is crazy how well that lines up. This is, without a doubt, the intended solution for this level. I cannot think of any solution that is more intended than this one. I mean, it's cruel that the intended solution also happens to be under 40% stress. Get it under 30? Easier said than done, because I just I just can't tell what the most stress is. Maybe here? I think it also has to do with this road as well. That should be under 30%. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I still kind of wish there was um under budget, lowest stressed leaderboard. But I have to admit that um, going for top of that leaderboard would be really tough. All right, that, that was an easy one. Double decker highway. This one should be fun because uh, we have, we're under half budget. I would be shocked if I can't get this easily. All right, so what I'm going to do is a arch of steel like that. And yeah, this will just then hold up as much as possible. And then over here, of course. Righto, so this is just the base plan. I could always reinforce this more if needed. Okay, that's pretty stressed. I might need to make these reinforced. I might even need to make this entire zigzag steel. Yeah, it looks like just random stuff along the way gets pretty stressed. Let me make these steel and then let me try wood triangles on top. Correction, let's do steel arch on top. Yeah, let's commit to a steel arch in this bitch. Two big steel arches now. Race car does not cause any problems. We do still see stress over here. It looks like that's a stress in the road. Let's go for a little brace here. I probably should do my part to slow down the limo if I can help it. What I need is a steep road here. So that almost gets beached. How about this? All right, so ignoring that, let's just see how well we support the bus. I did see we went above 40% for a bit. But the rest, oh, it still goes over 40. Like right in the middle here it does. And that gets stuck. All right, so a few things to work with. Let's try to fix up this midsection. All right, let's see if that supports the bus at least even a little bit better. Still gets a bit stressed over here. I can't tell why. We don't think it's up here, is it? It is this road. It's this road, that road, and this brace. All the problems are just over here. Uh, I'm going to make this into a muscle right here. And then maybe support this like so. That does improve, but now it's a different road that gets stressed. What is... Oh, it's this piece, I think. Okay, we're getting far. Let's just keep reinforcing this stuff until it works. So this road here and this piece. I might do the same with this road here. Oh, this looks so good. 35 is the max I saw. Come on. 37? Th don't fuck me. Th I saw 38. No! It's so close! Let's arch this higher then and bring in some steel. See if that helps. 38%? I didn't see 39% that time. Made us a good sign. Hey! There we go! Barely on budget. That was somehow trickier than I expected. Turns out getting under 40% stress for a big bridge like that is tough. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, this level, huh? There's no road limit. There is a uh, steel limit, but I think it's fine because we can do this without hydraulics and then we can use the hydraulics as extra steel. So we really have 12 steels. This top part should not be too bad because it's such a light vehicle. 3.5 polygrams. And then I still have to do this. Can I do this with the remaining six pieces of steel? I hope so. Okay, I can do this with five pieces of steel. All right, so that's a good looking arch there. Well, we'll see. Ooh, already pretty stressed. It's the road itself, which is totally cool. 
very okay with making this entire thing reinforced road. Still pretty stressed. Uh, hits like 50, so it gets bad in the middle. But I can manage that. What I guess I care about is this vehicle on the bottom bridge. Yeah, I can work with that, definitely. Uh, what I actually want to do is have my guaranteed steel pieces be hydraulics. And then I'm going to be moving around steel a lot. Uh, bad news, we are almost over budget. Yeah, actually, what's stopping me from just doing this and have it only barely split off in the middle? Well, I think there's going to be an issue actually dodging the plane. Oh, unless if we have the middle part moved by hydraulics. Also, I guess now that I'm realizing it, the steel limit does actually suck. So I want to be able to lower the bridge down to here. Ooh, 30%. All right, please, okay. 39%. Please click. No, it doesn't go down far enough. That's so sad. Oh, another idea I could do. Uh, have this middle section still be about the same, but move it down so it can click more easily. Okay, it's very stressed. Okay, so it looks like we do need to have some sort of steel on the bottom. All right, let's try this. If it doesn't latch in at the bottom, then we're gonna have a big issue with stress. Doesn't get stressed here, good. Please latch. Oh, it gets pretty stretch, stressed when it latches. Wait, it only gets... Oh, it got less stressed when the car drove on it. That was close, though. That was a good one. I think this design can be the one. All right, we're close. 44% should be the perfect amount. Hmm, if not... Well, then, I don't know. Maybe I could reinforce the roads? 17%, good. Oh, that connects perfectly. Hopefully, there's no big stress issue issues while pulling it up. It gets the most stress the, the higher the road goes, goes, but I think we're good. Nice. All right, a little bit of creativity in the hydraulics, getting it to not be very stressed. Hi, only one hydraulic was used as a regular support as well. Air show. Wait, this one's not bad at all. Well, yeah, this one's easy. It's a light vehicle. We just needed a freaking arched uh, road. It's got to be a reinforced road for this, of course. And then we'll just do steel like crazy. So first thing is I want this to be connected. And then I want to do steel to here and then, you know, the rest. All right, so first iteration, let's make these cables. It uh, starts off very stressed in the roads, especially. Wow, the roads are extremely stressed. All right, one more thing I want to try. Oh, that's better. All right, so in the middle is still going to probably be sketched, but I'm glad we have that improvement at least. All right, yeah, it gets worse with this on it. Not much worse, though. 45%? All right, let's reinforce the middle when we got a bridge. All right, let's try this. 29% resting stress. These extra ropes seem to be doing a miracle. Oh, and I only saw 36%, so that's big. All right, please. Let's go! Not a bad level at all. We went from 51% arresting stress to a working bridge in no time. This actually might not be too bad. This might not be too bad. We have a working road, and we have steel. Unlimited steel. Let's run it. We're going maximum steel here. I think I can run through this relatively quickly. Uh, that being said, I mean, this has to hold. Let's reinforce these roads, because I think that will be important. And I think I'll even make a point for this to go out farther with the help of a rock support. Hey, let's run it. Oh, it gets pretty stressed at the bottom. It doesn't even freaking make it. What kind of joke is that? Let's just adjust this then. Maybe I'll activate the last road. I think actually instead we just need to have it ramp up more. Yikes. All right, well that lands. How close do we get? I think I saw 40 something. 45. What got the most stressed? This piece, this piece. Maybe this, I can't tell. Let's bring out the extra road. Smooth it out a bit. I actually don't know why it gets so stressed. It seems fine, but... And then I think some of these roads can be regular. Oh, is this road right here. It actually got very stressed. 
How about fewer joints? That looks good. 38.5. Okay. I think the roads are fine here. Let's see. It looks like it's everything that isn't the road that's getting stressed. Oh, unbelievable. 40.2%. Hey, there we go. A few jumps away is still put together for a nice clean momentum bridge. Compression, compression, compression. This level's actually not too bad, I think, if you do it normally. I think we're gonna have to just redo it entirely, though. So let's make sure we barely squeak in, hit that star. And then I'll have this ramp up a little bit. And then, honestly, I mean, what's wrong with just connecting everything with steel, huh? All right, it's pretty close to budget, so I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of problems. 26% stress, yeah. Uh, it hits a cool 60-something percent. Uh, so what, these end pieces got pretty stressed? I guess we could reinforce some roads. So this is already way better. Uh, we barely flash at 40. I just wanna identify the stress problems before identifying the budget problems. When I first started streaming, did I ever just want to give up? Well, when I started streaming, I never had the goal of becoming popular on the website. I always streamed because it was fun. And my biggest advice is never stream with the intent to be popular. You will always be let down. Not just because it's unlikely you'll get it, but because the popularity is way less uh, of a good thing than people think it is. It's just not me. Maybe maybe some people like that sort of thing. Dealing with large crowds of people. But I like kind of keeping it medium to low sized. This is under budget. I actually want to run this just to see if we hit that 41% stress sale. Because this is a good sign if we do. 41.6. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so the major stress. Is there anything else besides this road? Like, is it this road and this road in tandem? Oh, wait a second. Isn't the trick to beating this level letting one vehicle go at a time? Some of the up-down stabilizers can be wood and rope. Interesting. No, okay, I, I see. Like these. Probably not all of them, but yeah, some of them. Let's see. It's more stressed now. It looks like the stress is more evenly distributed. But I do like where this is going budget-wise, and honestly, as a whole, that barely impacted anything. What if I have, like, two separate roads pushing into this? So it's really slowed down now. I saw a 39, like I'm gonna maybe keep adding more roads here to just try to slow that down. Yeah, it helps, 40.6. It's the, uh, <laughs> you must work to access this bridge, motherfucker. It's so close, I think it broke 40% for a brief second. Ah, crap. <laughs> it's right on the nose. That's a good and bad thing. I'm gonna try to get under, but at least we're seeing improvements. So actually what I would just wanna do is simply just make these longer. And hopefully that's enough. <laughs> this is a road champ moment. Hey, we've done it. <laughs> oh, what a classic method. All bridges should implement this to, in order to save money on the bridge itself. Just force the cars to wait their turn by putting roads in between them. There we go. Realism. The dip and draw. Oh, this one is actually insanely difficult. You know what? Screw it. I think I am going to redraw this. I think I will do a drawbridge since there's no hydraulic limit. So then we have steel. Good thing we have steel because otherwise without steel, I would probably go crazy. Let's get these to be ropes, of course. Or cables, actually. And then this whole area needs to be reinforced just because... I'm not I'm not even exactly sure why, but I found that it gets stressed in the past. I might do all the roads individually. I want to see if how stressed this is. Oh, good God. What, what got stressed? Is it this road? It is this road. Okay. I need to be able to support this part of the bridge just way better if I can help it. Maybe I'll do one of these type of supports. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. We figured it out. So what I would like to do is actually keep this going straight. All right, so where do I think I want to split this then? Probably here. Get this piece here. Brace this like so. Ah, technically pulling this up allows me to have a better angle. But on this side, technically pulling it down is better. So left side we pull up, right side we pull down. So we get this and then I think I'll just have this come over like so. Yeah, this will just contract, and we'll hope that dodges. And then this side, we'll just have something that comes under. This can then... Oh, we're over budget, I just realized. Um, I'll deal with the budget later. I Yeah, I'll deal with that later. I want to just try to see if the concept is anywhere close. 
20% stress, so I feel like that's all over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, especially there. Let's see if the drawbridge itself works as well. I think that's pretty important. Left side looks great. Right side also looks great. Okay. So the drawbridge itself does not get very stressed. It's mostly in these three roads. So maybe if I can fix those, I'm pretty happy. We get 30-something percent stress during the movement of the hydraulics, which is totally cool. I don't mind that at all. Ah, 78%. Yeah, so we got to fix this crap. Let's uh, muscle this for a little bit extra strength. I'm going to run it, see if it helps. No. Oh, it helped on the right side, didn't it? We'll see what it comes out to. If it's like 40-something percent, then the right side support definitely helped. Yeah, okay. So the right side support is looking good. So now it is down to over here. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell it's getting stressed though. I need to like slow it down. Oh, is it this piece possibly? This piece, this road. Oh, it does hit 40 again. It actually looks like part of the muscle itself. Let me try to balance the muscle for you all. And then over here, I think we need yet another muscle. I can't really add more support. What if I just lower this one then instead and just let this be a sharp angle? Because somehow this muscle absorbs the blow. Wait, I think that worked. <laughs> okay, so the sharp angle somehow didn't cause more stress uh, to happen on the bridge. It actually caused less stress. Alright, so now I'm only $12,000 over budget while being under stress. That's good news though. That's, that's actually good news, because I have everything as reinforced roads. I have so many freaking cables instead of ropes. And I feel like I have a lot of unnecessary steel. So let's start shaving. All the roads look like they get stressed at some point, but maybe we could try some over here. All right, so the difference between changing road between these three and changing road here is that the roads are being held up directly by the cables. Let me just even make one of these, a regular road, and let's see if there's a difference. If not, then you know what? Um, that's really good news. I'll be very happy to see it, but I kind of had my doubts. I had my doubts until I saw the numbers, though. The numbers look decent. Okay, you know what? All right, let's do this entire section, then. Ah, uh, this is tension here, so I can't just make these regular roads, but I'm gonna try anyways. Maybe the cable covers for the tension of the, or, you know, so that the cable does the tension so that the roads don't have to. 40.2% stress. Not at all what I like to see. Let me just try making this single back road reinforced. And then these other ones, regular. Because I think this is the worst one as far as stress is considered. If that doesn't fix it, then it's not going to matter. Okay, that does fix it. 1,000 to go. Wait, do I still need this cable? I totally forgot I had one here. Oh! Yo, yeah, because this, is, this isn't this is necessarily tension anymore. The cable is not as helpful. I don't even know if it does anything, period. All right, cross your fingers, chat. We might have a win. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yes. This was a satisfying bridge to do. Probably the hardest one that was reasonable yet. Like, there are some that are just, like, way too finicky to yet. But this one is just a solid bridge using good techniques, paying attention, just fundamentals getting me through. Love to see it.